there is still plenty of time to drop off your ballot for Tuesday's election. A reminder, you have until 7 p.m. on Election Day to take it either to a drop box or to vote in person. And some school districts in our area, they are asking for more voters for more money this election. News 5's Allison Zimmerman is here now with a quick breakdown of these issues that voters are going to be deciding on on our ballot. So Allison, what are we looking at? Yeah, well, and Andy in Colorado Springs and El Paso County, I should say, both school districts 20 and 49 are going to voters for a mill levy override trying to get more money. That means property taxes would be going up. In part, they'll use funds to try and increase starting salaries for teachers to try and compete with other districts in the area. Let's break it down for you. In Academy District 20, the Mill Levy override is asking voters to generate $35 million over the course of the next three years. The district says that money would go towards salary increases for teachers and staff, ensure each elementary school has its own security officer, fund upkeep of schools and facilities and give money to charter schools. Here's how much it's going to cost you for 2024. Homeowners who live in a $500,000 home in D20, it's about $12 a month. In 2025, it would go up to about $22 a month and in 2026, about $30 a month. Now in District 49, the focus is on giving raises to teachers for the next seven years. It would be about a seven, at least a 7% raise each year. Now that increase averages out to about $20 a month for a $450,000 home. The district argues its starting salary is lower compared to other districts in the area. And that's why it needs this increase. And there's still another variable with these property tax questions. Proposition HH also on the ballot, which could impact the assessed value of homes, which could ultimately mean less money coming in from these mill levy overrides. We have a breakdown of HH as well as these questions on our website, koa.com. In studio, Allison Zimmerman, News 5.